Is the premium tax credit refundable? Well, the short answer is yes, it's refundable, but what you're probably looking for is whether or not it's refundable to you. So in this video, we're gonna go over a quick calculator tool so you can calculate the premium tax credit and also so you can better understand whether or not you qualify for the premium tax credit. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel or if this is your first time at our channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Travis Sickle and as always, let's go ahead and get right into it. So I was looking at the IRS's website on their news section and they put out an updated Q&A on the premium tax credit and I was going through it and they were talking about the refund on the premium tax credit so I wanted to do a video to help show you not only the calculator, but also this news release or this update on the IRS's website. Now, the first question is, or the Q&A is, what is the premium tax credit? The premium tax credit is a refundable tax credit designed to help eligible individuals and families with low or moderate income afford health insurance purchased through the health insurance marketplace. So what this means is that if you have a a workplace plan or a plan that is not through the marketplace, then you would not qualify for the premium tax credit. So that's really important to understand. And I think a lot of people get confused because they're just looking at the, the MSRP of the premium. So with the healthcare marketplace, if you qualify, I would like to take a minute to thank the sponsor of this video, Aura, the new standard in digital security. Aura provides identity theft and fraud protection for your finances, personal information, and family. Easy to understand, simple to set up, and all in one place. And as you would expect with that identity theft protection, you're gonna get the online account monitoring, your personal information, and your social security monitoring. And one of the services that I love the most, financial and credit fraud protection, which covers everything from credit monitoring to 401k and investment account monitoring. Because it's your money, you worked hard for it, and you need to protect it. So visit Aura.com forward slash Travis for 50% off. So with the healthcare marketplace, if you qualify, you can actually get that premium reduced, basically subsidized through in the form of a credit. Now, if you don't take that credit up front, but you still qualify for it, and your income is still low enough at the end of the year, then you can get it in the form of a refund. But you're still probably wondering, well, okay, that's great, but how do I know if I qualify for the premium tax credit? Well, one way to do it is to go through the marketplace and go through all of their prompts and choosing the, the, the insurance, and you can figure out what your premium tax credit eligibility would be. But it's kind of a complicated way of doing it. So there's a little bit better way that I don't think the IRS really talks enough about or the, uh, the marketplace talks enough about in order to figure out in advance if you would qualify. So if you're kind of on the fence of whether or not you're gonna qualify for how much you're gonna qualify, what's that refund looking like? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this really easy calculator. Now this calculator I've used before and I'm not gonna go through the entire walkthrough, but if you go through this calculator, click on the start button, you can go through all of these prompts to figure out, you could change the dates right here, to figure out whether or not you qualify. Now they don't have it updated for 2022, so you can still use it for 2021. So if you're concerned whether or not you qualify, if there's anything that you could possibly do, this is the tool for you. Because even if it's at the end of the year, right? We're, we're just, you're just about to file your taxes. You're, you're thinking like, well, I, everything's already done. I can't change my plan. That is true but this is based on your adjusted gross income. So if you're very close to this threshold, a lot of it is a cliff. So that means if you're at $1 over the limit, that means you're not gonna qualify for the full amount of the premium tax credit. So you can qualify for significantly more. And I've seen scenarios that I've run in previous videos where you could save thousands of dollars by lowering your income just a couple hundred dollars. And you wouldn't know it if you didn't go through this calculator and compare that to your taxable situation. So it's really important that you look at this stuff in advance. So if you do need to take action, like putting more money into a traditional IRA, then you can reduce your adjusted gross income. And there's a handful of other types of deductions that you can use, but that's just one way to make sure that you're maximizing the amount of money that you can put back in your pocket and get this premium tax credit. Now, the premium tax credit is refundable. So that means if you don't have any tax liability or it's gone down to zero and it's basically like a negative tax liability, then that's a refund. So it will go past zero. That is a refundable. That's what the word refundable means. 
But in this case, it could be refundable because you have no tax liability. Or if your income dropped from what you projected originally and you didn't take the advanced portion to it, the advanced premium tax credit, which by the way, works a lot like the advanced child tax credit. If you took it in advance, well, then you wouldn't get it in the form of a refund. But if you didn't take it in advance, then you could possibly get it in the form of a refund. So it works very similarly to that. So I'm really talking about whether or not this will get you a bigger refund, a refund at all, or getting you past zero to be refundable. So there's a couple of, I guess, terminologies in here that you need to be familiar with. Whether or not it's a refund is different than just refundable. Refundable means it goes below zero even further. So you not only have zero tax liability, but you're also getting money back because you have a marketplace plan. Where on the other side is if you owed a little bit, but then you withheld throughout the course of the year and then got more premium tax credit for whatever reason, then that can come in the form of a refund. So that's a little bit on the, um, that's how it, the nuance might change. No matter where your income is, if you use this calculator, that I'll leave a link in the description at the bottom and watch my other video on it because I, I do a walkthrough on this to explain how this calculator works and how to compare it to your taxes so you can get more money back in your pocket. And yes, this is kind of like one of those games that you have to play, unfortunately. That's how our tax system is set up. But if you can figure out how to reduce your income, you could possibly qualify for more of the premium tax credit. So yes, it is refundable, but it really depends on your particular situation, whether or not you withheld enough throughout the course of the year, whether you have a tax liability at the end of the year. So that matters whether you're going to get the premium tax credit in a refund, but take the time in advance and as quickly as possible because we're already obviously through the course of the year. So you can't go back and change your plan, but you can figure out how to reduce your income and start planning for 2022. So if you've already gone through open enrollment, go back and look at the plan, make sure that you qualify and save a little bit more, reduce your income, qualify for even more on the premium tax credit. So quick video, quick update. Go ahead and check out the IRS's website. Check out this calculator. If you have any questions on the premium tax credit, let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.